Dr. Glenn Burrell, Chief of Pediatrics at North York General Hospital, and I'm a specialist as a physician nutrition specialist in childhood nutrition. So Dr. Burrell, um, the Connected Health and Wellness Project that you're working with York University on, why do you think the, uh, the work with Centennial on the Capstone Project will, um, it is important? Well, I think the work for the Capstone Project with Centennial is important because um, we need to evaluate the models that are out there for adults to compare them with what we would need to see for children. There are no models for health coaching for children, and there are models out there for adults. They're not well developed. And I think we need the business acumen of the students at Centennial College to be able to help us develop a model, compare the market of what is out there in the health coaching industry, and look at how we develop the model to apply for children. And why is it important that we start with children? We have to start with children because we actually have a major crisis with obesity in our healthcare system. And children have a high prevalence of obesity. Uh, we're talking about numbers approaching 30%. We have a huge, overwhelming uh, problem coming for the health of these children and for the healthcare system and costs if we don't do something to prevent it. So we need to get our models at the level of helping out children to prevent the problem and correct the problem in childhood. Is there a relationship between um, childhood nutrition, uh, childhood behavior, and um, behavior later in life? There is a relationship. If you establish early behavior change, then you can develop behavior patterns for life that are healthier. And so we need to try and do that before very long stab it, uh, before long-standing habits are, are established. So how can a health coach assist a physician or other caregivers in, um, in establishing a good pattern of behavior in childhood? Health coaches are able to help to develop behavioral patterns. They use behavioral management for uh, assisting individuals to change their patterns. And so a health coach can help uh, a medical service or healthcare professionals to be able to carry out the steps of behavior change that the individual needs to take. So Dr. Barrell, you're not only a, a physician um, a, who specializes in pediatric medicine, but you're also a person who's, who's done extensive studies in business administration. So talk to us a little bit about what the, the qualities are that will make for a successful model. Well, I, I think the successful model has to make sense. And in order to make sense, we have to understand the market that we're dealing uh, with the business model in. And then we have to understand the processes that are required for this model to function. We have to understand each component of the model so that we can compare, for example, the developing of a model for children to the existing adult models in health coaching. We need to be able to use this model to be able to apply it to support health coaching uh, curriculum development and to help health coaches to understand what will work best with children. And in order to do that, we have to have each piece of the model in place. And for the model, do you think the model is, um, uh, is a model that you would see um, being utilized initially in the public sector, or is this something that the private sector could, could get engaged in? I think the private sector could definitely get engaged in this, and it would be um, something that I would hope to see. I think the public sector wants to see the improvements in the health of individuals as an example in the, in the health sector, but I think we need to have involvement in the private sector to be able to move this forward.